I remember hearing Les Brown speak about how people were so afraid to get hurt that they would continue to suffer rather than go through unknown pain to change. I know this is true because I talk to many students every single week and I hear it often every week. And I've also experienced in my life. While the circumstances that lead us all to change may be different, at some point there's something that hits us or triggers us and we snap and then we change. For me, I know what it was. About three and a half years ago, Kirsten and I had a medical tourism business and we were paying somebody to market for online leads and they gave me a big bill and a short stack of shitty leads. I was so mad, I was like, I will never ever pay a dime for this again. I will do whatever it takes to learn online marketing. What is it that you are fed up with in your life? What is it that you can no longer tolerate? Use that disgust as leverage to create change for the better in your life. Will it take work? Yes. Will you likely fail in the beginning? Yes. Will you be uncomfortable and feel silly? Probably. But here's the thing. We're humans, not machines. There's a learning curve. It's just the way it goes. As long as you acknowledge it, just keep a little bit of work every day and improve. Most people are governed by their habits, their fears, and the opinions that others have of them. In fact, so many people never try anything outside of their comfort zone for fear of what people think. They live in the context of what other people think about them and because of that, they hold themselves back. And I understand that it's typically caused from reliving the past. There was a point in their lives where they were about to make a major change and they shared that with someone that they loved, honored, and respected, and that person told them they couldn't do it. The worst part is that they listened to them and they believed them. And then to make that worse, they decided to imprint that in their subconscious. And then every time a similar situation came up, they held themselves back. I know this is true because I was guilty of this in the past. Thankfully, a couple years ago, I started to ask myself better questions. What kind of questions are you asking yourself? Are you asking yourself questions like, how much better would my life be if I didn't give a crap what anybody thought? What would my life be like if I could give up some of my fears? How amazing would my life be if I could live courageously? If you're not asking yourself these kind of questions, are you really living life to your full potential? Or are you just doing okay and okay is good enough? Haven't you ever wondered if you could shut up the naysayer negative voices in your mind for a month and go after your dreams full on and believe you could accomplish them? what your life would look like? Or does me asking you this question make you uncomfortable and nervous? I get it, I really do. I used to think that way too. But after the last couple of years, I know that when I die, my gravestone's gonna say, I squeezed every drop out of my life. Now is the time to be courageous. Take action. Don't be afraid to fail. There are no failures, just lessons in life. Stop listening to the naysayers. Do whatever you have to, to challenge yourself, to go after your goals. Stop listening to people that have never accomplished anything or realize their dreams because they're too busy listening to their insecurity. Go after what you want. You can do it. You're worthy of it and it's possible. Don't listen to the naysayers. Do the work, get the results, rinse, repeat. And take a little time every single day to acknowledge your hard work and your results. And I promise you, your life will be so much better than it is today. Even if you're doing great, step it up. Take it to the next level. I know you can. All right. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.